Might need something to drink after this. <laughs> hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we uh, we listened in on a conversation between the president and one of his uh, advisors, I guess? I don't know. Anyway. Oh yeah, also that uh, also that total uh, Damon Gant look-alike that showed up near the end. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to uh, continue stamping out the Hades prison break. Because everybody is after our lives for some reason. But first, I'm going to rearrange everybody's special skills. That's better. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Chains of Judgment. Alright, getting right into the map again. And damage 20%. That's, uh, that's pretty dangerous. Does that actually sit... That is not actually sitting on a panel. Where's the... There it is. Alright, so we are going to be dealing with uh, some slightly special circumstances here, if uh, anything is to be believed. Your back is wide open. Get our two best units out there to uh, I shall re to secure our foothold in this dangerous terrain, and our primary objective is going to be to get rid of some of those geo cubes. Here I come. We just kind of uh, casually let that gargoyle sit where he is. <laughs> let's defend. Instead of doing that, let's shoot him in the back. That's a way better course of action than what I had planned. Fenric is not doing too well over there. I think I should have brought in the tea. But, you know, whatever. Somehow he managed to survive. That's That's pretty good. 
Uh, I can't reach. But if I triple strike and then move Fenric, he should be that should be able to reach him just fine. I'm still coming. There we go. HP restored slightly. Dealing with the with the mortal danger for Fenric over there. I'm still coming. Yeah, it's pretty great that he hasn't been KO'd yet. Um, let's try and keep it that way. <laughs> Although we could also uh, get in a kill for this guy while we're at it. Ooh, I can reach both of them. Alright, let's do that. I mean, we definitely need to get our healer some mana so she can learn Mega Heal. Alright, that was absolutely a filler map. <laughs> so uh, let's follow up by seeing if we can learn Mega Heal. Uh, no, not quite enough mana. Espoir is definitely going to be useful for us, though, so I will learn that. Alright, carrying on. Vengeful Road. <laughs> there you are! These guys are 1.5 times more brutal than those earlier ones. Get ready now, guys. You're only one step away from receiving your pardons. Do as you wish. However, those are innocent prisoners who were put in Hades by the Corruptiment, right? How is it fair to use them by bribing them with pardons? Can you live with this? Th th they're not innocent. They were convicted by the Corruptiment. They're nothing but criminals! Well, that's a pretty circular argument. What did you say? We're innocent. We were just being demons. The corrupt men just came up with some bullshit excuse and imprisoned us. Then consider what you're doing. You're dealing with the corrupt who turned you into criminals in the first place. Don't you think it's foolish to trust them to keep their promise? What do you say? Shall we join forces? Yeah, you get my point. <laughs> No, he didn't. Of course he wasn't aware of this. I decided this for him, my own discretion. My lord proclaimed that he would beat the president and the corruptorment into shape, so I came up with my own plan of action. What my lord must do, I must also do. What I must do, my lord must also do. In other words, we are as one. That being said, there's no problem with me making any of his decisions for him. Indeed, as expected of you, Fenrir. It's quite considerate of you to come up with such an ambition. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes along with it. <laughs> All is for my lord. So, what kind of relationship do you two have again? It's starting to seem pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what 
What do you say, prisoners? When we usurp this regime, you shall all be granted ranks and positions suitable to your service. <laughs> Usurping the regime? Who believe in such dreamy nonsense? Whoa, whoa, hey now! This is my dream! Mine! Where I become the president of the netherworld! Enough of this! My father would never be defeated by you peons! He's right! How could a lowly Brinny instructor possibly defeat the president? Do you think you'll ever get what you want by giving up so easily? You see, this is why you're all nothing but side characters. So what? Why don't you show us what you've got? Yeah, that's right. We'll decide whether we want to join you after that. As you wish. I'll show you what I've got. The power of sardines! <laughs> Please just prove to them that you have enough power to usurp the regime. This game. It sure is a thing. Anyway, we got a... Uh, this is one of those hard maps. Uh, we got... Mages, we got skulls over here who are going to magic change and uh, constantly replenish SP. We got... Uh, thieves over here who are going to get a bunch of Mothman bows and become incredibly dodgy. And we got these guys in between who are just kind of Take there. This. That being said, I think our first course of action is to uh, take out the guys on this side. We could also go arranging the the geo panels, but I like this better. Forgive me. Okay. Perish. Now then. Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep going with this plan. Time to bust some balls. Magic change. Magic change. Oh, that's a gun. That's not a that's not a bow. And we've got Stella uh, protecting one of her allies. That's what that sound effect was. So that's something the Defense Fortress can do. It lets you uh, take a hit for one of your allies. And Stella, being our uber tank of the day, does a pretty excellent job. 580! What? That's insane. 
Yeah, Stella is is good to go. Matter of fact, 